Welcome to this demonstration of a parametrically controlled CAD model of a ship hull. Before us, we have predefined the geometry of a PSV hull in NX, where the surfaces have G2 continuity. This provides a smooth hull already at an initial design phase. With Product Template Studio, we have arranged the model with an intuitive interface, including illustrations and explanations, which allow even inexperienced NX users to make radical or detailed changes to the hull. We'll begin by changing the main dimensions of the hull, like the LPP, height and breadth. Simply enter the desired values, click Apply, and the change will appear in the modeling environment. During this geometry change, the model will maintain the shape as well as keeping the surfaces G2 continuous. We also have included the bilge radius, as well as two options for the flat iron width. For the forward part of the hull, we have included some customized parameters for the bulb like the length, height, tip height, and the width. This can supply you with almost limitless combinations in order to experiment with the bulb shape. A minor adjustment has also been included for the four point to adjust the X value, bringing it either forward or backwards. The illustrations provided will keep the user informed on what the parameters will change. In the midship section, we have included the possibility to increase the volume of the ship. In other terms, this means that you can extrude the midsection either towards the aft or the forward, thus compressing the part. This does not alter the overall length of the hull, but it's an easy way to increase the block coefficient of the ship. Our customer wanted the possibility to easily change the design, given the fact that the geometry varies dramatically based on the type of propulsion technique used for the ship. The current design is for an aft that uses azimuth-driven engines, but with a simple click you can change this to a propeller-driven aft design. Also notice the user interface when we're choosing a different aft, as the illustrations also changes to the design you're currently working on. As for all the other sections, the parameters can just as easily be changed with the aft, both on the propeller and the azimuth type. A special parameter for the azimuth aft is the lower transom Y position. 
which grants the user an option to do minor design changes to it. The skeg includes basic parameters such as angle, width and starting point. For the flat bottom, we have included tangency weighting values in x and y direction, meaning that it gives the user another option to increase or decrease the volume. Even though the values here might not be very trivial for everyone, the user will quickly understand what they achieve when experimenting with them. We have used HD3D reporting tools within PTS to give instant feedback to the user if the input values are outside the functional domain. If you were to go outside a predefined value domain, a warning sign will appear that tells you the values that this sign is restricted to. This doesn't mean that you are unable to enter this value, but simply that the shape will lose some of its quality if it goes outside the domains. You have probably noticed the output values that are constantly changing at the bottom of the interface. All of the hydrostatics in this window is included to keep ship designers updated on the most important values during the design. The draft can easily be changed by simple clicks, or by entering your own value. You can also add plate thickness to the hull if this is desirable. All of the output values changes instantly if any changes are made to the hole.